Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. If you like the specialty coffee beverages, today I'm gonna to give you a quick comparison of Jura's Midline machines. There's six of them, ranging from the D6 right up onto the uh, really impressive Giga 6, which can make two milk-based espresso beverages at the same time. Now, if you wanna find out any more specifics on any of these machines, I do have a full-length video on each one individually so you can see their full capabilities. Today, I just kind of want to get to the bottom of what the differences are on these. Now, so we'll take a look at brewing, how it differs, screens, programming, uh, a couple milk beverages because we got three different milk systems here, and we'll take a look at some accessories, including how you can start machines brewing using your voice with your smartphone or tablet. But first, what I want to do, let's talk about the espresso brewing, because whether you're starting with the entry-level D6 in this line or right up to the Giga 6, they make espresso the same way, and you can have just as much quality from the D6 as you can from the Giga 6. So let me just start an espresso here. I'm going to use a touch screen on the Giga 6 here, and we'll let that go. These are whole bean machines, so you start with whole beans. They're grinding them fresh right now. I'm going to start one over here on the D6 as well. Got espresso selected, see the screen's a little different here, and I'll press that button, and it's grinding my whole beans fresh. Now, something to know about Jura machines, they use some of the highest dosing available in espresso machines, up to 16 grams per brew cycle. I'm gonna go back over here with Giga 6, it's almost done with its espresso, and if you see that, it's just beautiful. Lots and lots of crema. That is a really lovely espresso. I'm going to take this over here. The D6 is almost done. I'm going to put these like side by side. And that's done. And as you can see, they look essentially the same. I'm going to take a little taste here. That one's good. Very good. So again, when you're doing espresso, whether you're starting with the entry level in this line or the most expensive, you get the same espresso. All right, now let's take a look at the differences here in the D6 and E6. Basically, the same machine, really. The big difference here is the screens. Over here, you have the 2.8-inch color TFT display. Over here, it's more of an LED setup. So I select my drinks with a dial here. So I have coffee, cappuccino, espresso, coffee. So I've got that over there. Over here, I have the TFT display with my drinks up here. And if you're taking a look at that, I made a milk drink on this earlier, so it's, it's reminding me to rinse the milk system. As far as the milk system on here, so what I'm going to do is make a cappuccino. So these use the same sort of milk system on both machines here. So I'm just going to show you how it works on this one. So if I press cappuccino here, it's grinding my whole beans fresh. And you can see what I've got here. I've got a tube just going into a pitcher of milk. Now we'll talk about some milk accessories that you can use on any of these machines that will keep your milk cold. Um, or you can just bring it out of the refrigerator, bring it to the machine, put it back, that kind of thing. Some really nice accessories there. Right now it's heating up to steam temperature. And this uses a dial system here to start the milk. So it's gonna tell me open switch. So I open the switch. And there comes my froth. Now this machine, just does a froth. Some of the other machines higher up will see it'll do, it'll steam the milk too, which is a much, much finer milk foam. When it's got my, and now it's telling me to close the switch. So I've got my milk froth in there. Now it's gonna give me two ounces of espresso over that milk for my cappuccino. So both the D6 and the E6 here, for milk drinks, you're gonna be able to make a cappuccino here. But looks really, really nice. Got that traditional cap of foam over my mixture of milk and espresso in the bottom. So key difference between these two machines is, is the screen here. So we're going to move up now. We're going to take a look at the E8 and the S8. Um, so what you got here is basically on the E8, you have the same sort of a screen as you had on the E6. Then on the S8, it's a much larger touchscreen display. So over here, you're going to use buttons. Um, over here, we do have some more milk drink possibilities and more drink possibilities in general and a different frother, which I'll demonstrate over on the S8, which has the exact same type of frother. So let's go over to the S8. So you can see the different milk drink options we have here, espresso, coffee, two coffees, cappuccino, latte macchiato, flat white, cafe latte. And if we press up here, then we can access some more 
and using a touch screen we can get through those. So we have a lot of our double drinks in here. We can also get hot water for green tea here or just do a plain milk froth. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to have it make me a flat white. I really like flat whites a lot. So the machine is grinding again. You can see I have all these parameters here that I've already programmed. You can leave them the way the machine comes. I like mine strong. I like two ounces of the espresso and 14. It does milk in seconds. So it's going to do the espresso first here. And then this frother is a little bit different. So you can get the steam milk, which is a really finely frothed milk or milk foam. And I don't have to touch anything, but I want to show you how the different froth types work. So it's done my espresso. Again, really, really nice crema rich espresso. Now you can see over here the machine's just heating up enough um, to give me my milk. And before I was just coming out of a milk pitcher last time, now I have this thermally insulated container. So here right now I'm getting a milk froth. If I turn this lever here, it's just more of a steamed milk. So I can decide what I want. I can even change right in the middle like that. I, li I do like a little cap of foam and there's my flat white. So again, you get the two different types of froth on the S8 or the E8. They both use the fine foam frother that has those capabilities. Big differences here are you have buttons and a non-touch, smaller non-touch screen here. Over here, you've got the, the larger touch screen. So let's move on down and we did the espresso over on the Giga 6. So over here we have that same screen and that's on the Z8 and the Giga 6. What I'm going to do, though, as I did say, you could start a drink with your smartphone. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to lift up this spout and this, the Giga 6 is the only machine here where you can do two milk based drinks at the same time. And I'm going to have it start with my smartphone. So I'm just going to place my glasses there and they get that going. And so all I'm going to do is say, hey Siri, make two lattes. And it's going to do that. And I programmed that to, I had it, you know, whatever I, I could have the voice trigger be anything. Now what that does, it uses uh, the Joe app on my smartphone, or I can have that on a tablet, and the Jura Smart Connect, which comes stock in the Giga 6 or the Z8 here. For the other machines, you can get the Smart Connect and do the same thing, but you can use this in any of the Jura machines that we're taking a look at here. So, and also what you're going to get on these two machines that you won't see on the other is we're getting parallel preparation. So we're getting milk and espresso at the same time. That really does, makes a nice latte. Another feature of these machines is frothing is a little bit differently. There's no switches to turn on these or anything, but it can do two different types of milk. So right now it's doing a steamed milk. And you'll see in a minute here, it's going to switch over and do more of a froth milk. So I'm going to get that nice cap of foam on top of my drink. And again, on the Giga 6, as we're doing right now, you can make two at the same time. On the Z8, it has that same parallel preparation for a really nice latte, but you can only make one drink at a time. And there it's switching over to the froth milk, so I'm going to get that nice cap of foam over top of my drink. And that's all automatic, and that's really exclusive to Jura machines that they do that two types of froth into one drink. But let's talk about the milk, and that's just, that's just beautiful. These are some of the best milk drinks I've ever had out of automatic coffee machines. Let me take a little taste. Oh, that's just delicious. And you've got a lot of programming you can do. Again, the drinks, as they come on the machine, default, they're great. But if you want to customize it, there's a lot of customizable features in the menu. We'll take a quick look at that. Now, for my source for milk on this, I'm hearing using Jura's Cool Control. Um, this is a refrigerated countertop unit, so you can leave this connected to your machine and it keeps your milk. It does have a temperature display in here. Right now, mine's at 37 degrees. Also, it has a little indication of how much milk is in there. Every component in this can go right into the dishwasher. It's very easy. I'll pull this out just a little bit. I really love this thing. And if you're going to go at this level of machine, so you have this stainless steel container, lid, this can go in the dishwasher, container can do, go into the dishwasher, this milk pickup tube, that can go in the dishwasher, and you can position that wherever you want on this machine. Very, very nice. 
I really do like that a lot. Something else with the uh, Giga 6. All the other machines have a single grinder. On the Giga 6, you have two grinders. So what a lot of people will do is they'll put their regular caffeinated beans in one and then use the other for decaf. And then when you go in and program your drinks, you can decide which grinder you want to come from. You can even mix between the grinders. So if you want like a half calf in 25% increments, you can take your coffee uh, from either grinder and mix them. So really nice feature there. So one thing I love about Jura machines is they make the maintenance so easy. So a lot of other manufacturers, they'll have the actual part that makes your coffee, pulls out of the machine, you have to rinse that. That's not the case on Jura machines. They use a cleaning tablet. Um, they come like this, or you can buy bottles that have a lot more in them, but the machine will tell you when to do that. So when the machine says clean, all you do is open up. There's a little hood on all of these machines. Um, on, on these two, um, you would just drop the tablet in here, push a button, the machine handles all the cleaning for you. As you go up into these other machines, this little, this little uh, hatch right here, you can also use it as a bypass doser. So on uh, any of the rest of the machines up here, you can use pre-ground coffee if you'd want to. You'd put that in here. But if you're not doing the pre-ground, the machine tells you just clean, you just take one of the tablets, drop it in, press a button, and it handles all the cleaning for you. One other really nice thing and an exclusive Jura feature is if you use the filters with these machines, water filters, they go right in the water tank here, and I'm not gonna take the tank off of every machine, but they go into the water tank here, and if you use the filter as recommended, there's no descaling of these machines. And what scale is, is it's a mineral buildup that happens when you heat water, and it's gonna happen anytime you heat water. But if you use the filter as recommended in the Jura machines, no descaling ever. Um, another nice thing, these are smart filters, so they have a little RFID chip in them, so the machine knows when a filter is being used. You don't have to use a filter, I really suggest you do. Um, but the machine will know it's using a filter, it'll tell you when to change it, and it automatically will know when you have changed it. So you don't have to, a lot of other machines, you'd have to go in and do some programming and tell it what you're doing there. With the smart filters, you won't have to do that. Another nice thing with these machines, all the mill cleaning functions. So they'll do automatic rinses. Um, on the higher level machines, it's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do right on the screen and when you need to do it. Jura is all about making it really, really easy. So that's just kind of a quick overview of these Jura machines. Now, just one more time real quick through them. Um, on the D6 and the E6 here, no bypass doser, can't do the pre-ground on there. If you're gonna do milk drinks, um, you need to do the switch when the machine tells you to do that. Primarily machine, machines good for cappuccinos. Um, again, really simple display on the D6 here. Get more, a little nicer display here on the E6. As we move up to the E8, and the S8, here we have that fine milk foam frother, and so that's gonna allow you to do a much finer froth, get ca cafe lattes, go beyond the cappuccinos with these. Um, again, push button uh, with the color screen, smaller color screen on the E8, touch screen on the S8. As we get up into the Z8 and the Giga 6, um, parallel preparation of milk-based espresso beverages on these, so you get the milk and espresso out at the same time. Um, only one of those at a time on here, you can do two milk-based beverages on the Giga 6. And these two machines, they can also make full pots of coffee. So you can just hit a button and you can make up to 80 ounces of coffee at a time. Just put your pot on there, it'll do it. These are entertaining powerhouses, these two. Um, also, you gotta love the Joe app. Again, this is standard on both the Z8 and the Giga 6. It comes with a Bluetooth receiver. Um, you can use this with any of the other machines here, but it's an optional accessory. And then just real quick, the different milk options you have. So you go right from just sticking it into a pitcher of milk. Um, there's the Jura glass container right here. This thing, you can put milk in there. It's all glass, take it in and out of the refrigerator as needed to use. Then you've got the uh, thermally insulated carafe. So it's a dual wall stainless, so you put your milk in there. Keep it cold for a while on the countertop without having to worry about it. And we go right on up to the Jura Cool Control uh, countertop refrigerated unit. You can leave milk in there indefinitely and keep it at about 40 degrees or less. So that's 
the Dura Midline machines. If you have any questions about these, use those comments. And also, you know, if you have a specific interest in one of these machines, do check the video description. There's links down there to an individual video on each machine so you can get a really good idea of what each one does. I'm Mark from Whole Latte Love. If you have any questions about them, use those comments. I'd be more than happy to get you some answers. Thanks for watching. I do hope you'll subscribe and come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.